Answer. Hey all, um, today we are going to show how to remove and in reverse sequence install a Kimpex click and go to plow mount on a 2021 Brute Force 750 um, and with the stock skid plate configuration. So I put these up on car ramps, don't ask how I did it. It was super sketchy. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. So first off, I am going to show you guys the, uh, what it looks like. There's some U-bolts and you can see a crossbar that goes from one side of the frame over to the other. Um, this is from the inside of the bike, of course, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath. Having the bolt patterns, okay, this, this way is the front of the bike. The bolt patterns need to be exactly like that. So you can see... This here and this here is one of the U-bolts that goes across the frame. And these go to the crossbar. These go to the crossbar that goes across the top of the frame. This here is just a bolt that holds... Uh, we'll see when we're done. So I just wanted to show you the entire... Remember, this, this way is the front of the bike. I just wanted to show you the bolt layout because it's important. If you take it apart and leave it all on the floor, you're just going to be lost like I was the first time. Okay, so I am going to remove all of these and I want to show you what it looks like after that's done. Um, this is the disassembly, of course. In order for you to do the assembly, you're going to have to reverse the process. I'm gonna measure where uh, we had to drill through the, uh, through the skid plate, and uh, I'll supply all those measurements as well at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have removed the bracket, but I've left the U-bolts in so I could show you guys where to drill the holes. You have to drill holes in the plastic skid plate to get it in. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to show you, and I brought some calipers just to uh, just to guesstimate. Not even guesstimate. So the middle of the hole should be approximately, and I don't have batteries, uh, Sorry about that, guys. Right there. Two and three-eighths for that hole right there, right at the bend. And if you measure back, there. I know this is cringy, but I'm just trying to give some numbers to you guys. It is, oh my glass is on 50 millimeters. You can see the hole where the U-bolt is, is pretty much this frame goes in an S shape. It's pretty much in the middle of the S shape frame and this is the front of the bike here right through like that so drill a groove out um, because it's yeah drill a groove out same thing on the other side the exact same holes have to be done 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the part back together and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now that that fiasco is over, I have built it like it's installed. This bar that I have my fingers on goes across the frame at the back. You can see that the two U-bolts go through the frame where I showed you the measurements in the prior clip. These and these are simply holders that hold the retention plates on the bottom. The retention plates have some unfilled holes at the back, but this is the U-bolt and this is the retention bolt that just holds this plate to the actual whatever you call this thing. So I want to just show you guys because this is important. If you if if this gets out of out of whack, it's a little hard to figure out. So you have up against the actual the plate itself, you have little retention bars that keep the bolts from popping through, and the short bolts just keep that plate in place in the front and in the back. And then the bar goes across your frame, being held by these one, this one bolt on each side. And then you have the U-bolts that go through the frame in the front where you drilled. Um, all you need to do this project is a drill and a half inch wrench. And that's it. So, so I'm just going to show you one more time what the bottom of it looks like. This is the front with the U-bolts. This is the back bolt that goes across the bar, that goes across, that goes across the frame. And I'm just gonna put it in place one last time. Oh, under the bike, it just goes like that. So, good luck, you're gonna need it. Um, this is not something you wanna do on a winter day in a snowy parking lot. You want to do it before you need it. So have fun. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. Have a good day.